What does it mean to fill chemistry with your date? I'm sure so many times you have heard this excuse that there was no chemistry, no sparkle, or you have given the same uh, feedback after the date that you know what, you're a nice girl, but I didn't fill chemistry. So what does it actually mean to fill chemistry? So often people confuse chemistry with purely physical attraction. So if they like a girl in front of them, if a man likes a girl in front of him or a woman likes a man in front of her, they claim that there is chemistry. Well, it's just physical attraction. If, for example, you have slept well on that night and you have showed up on a date in a good mood, well rested, well fed, uh, you didn't have a fight with anyone, it's not the end of a stressful week, you are relaxed, so you believe that, wow, there is chemistry, when in reality you have just shown up on the date with the right attitude. So how do people create chemistry? They flirt. Of course, physical attraction is important. We all like to feel attracted to a person we see in front of us. But the reality is uh, there are many people who are attractive, physically attractive, who photograph well. And beauty is truly in the eye of the beholder. While well, one man will think that this woman is very attractive, the other man can claim that she is plain or she is too tall, too slim, etc. Same applies to women who can tell that this guy is not tall enough or too skinny, too bulky, not muscular enough, uh, that he has a baby face, he is not strong enough, etc. So people give crazy excuses. But does chemistry mean compatibility? Definitely no. You can be on a date with a very beautiful woman, in your opinion she is beautiful, probably because you haven't been dating in a while, or that's that months of a year for her and for you, and here she is smiling to you sweetly, and it has been a while since you had been intimate with a woman, and she's flirting with you, shamelessly flirting, and you can tell that there is interest, and you believe that is chemistry, but does it equal compatibility? In many chances, no. Because, well, you can be looking for a serious, lasting relationship, you don't want anything casual, you don't have time and heart and energy for anything casual, and you want to invest your time into building something solely that can lead to engagement, to marriage, to starting a family. This woman can be on a totally different page. She has just broken up with her ex-boyfriend or she has taken a divorce and this is why she is so flirty. She wants to get attention, she wants to get these compliments, she wants to brush her ego and chemistry is there but you are hardly compatible because your long-term goals are very different. And sometimes people confuse chemistry with common interest. For example, you are on a date and she tells you that she loves this band and this is her favorite song. And this is your favorite song too and you know this band and you actually have been to the concert and you believe that, wow, this is the sign. Or for example, a woman has dated a guitar player before. Or for example, she has dated a musician and she believes that musicians are her type, she finds them attractive, she finds them unusual and she meets the guy and he tells her that he played the guitar. Does it mean that they are compatible? No, but you have found something that you have in common and you believe that this is the sign and you start treating this acquaintance in a different way. So what changes your attitude? You believe that, wow, he played the guitar, or for example, she liked this band, or she is blonde with blue eyes, and this is the type you believe like most men would find attractive, and you start acting differently on this date. You start flirting, you start smiling, you start investing yourself into the date. You try to create chemistry. You actually are creating this chemistry, this connection, because you are invested into a date. But of course, it doesn't mean that this date has future, that you are compatible, that your long-term goals align, that your values align. No. Chemistry can appear because of the setting. You have met her uh, in the airport or uh, on the train station. So you have met here offline and recently you have been doing mostly online dating, like Tinder dates, when you see the photo, then you go out on dates with the same attitude, with the same energy. You already go there disappointed. You already set yourself for a failure thinking that you will get disappointed because she is, for example, 36 and you believe you have to date someone up till 33 or she is too tall, not tall enough, etc. So she doesn't fit inside the mold that you have created in your head, a mold of a perfect woman. And here you meet someone offline. You don't know her age, you don't know her height. She's just smiling to you and it feels different. 
And of course, acquaintances that start differently, they stand out, they feel different and you start treating them different. Guys, we create chemistry with our own attitude, with our own actions. If we flirt, if we are invested on a date, if we choose to invest our time and energy into a woman who can actually choose us back, she is on the date for all the right reasons, because she wants to date and she has showed interest, it will feel different. But if you keep chasing women uh, whose pictures, for example, on Tinder you find physically attractive, you like the photos, they are, in your opinion, are glamorous enough and she is of the exact age, but she's reluctant to answer you and she kept rescheduling this date and you can tell that she is not really that invested but you still try to push it to chase her of course there will be no chemistry if you start choosing and dating women that show genuine interest in you dating will be fun and you will see how different it is when two people actually invest efforts and they try to make this date work sometimes to create chemistry you have to change your approach for example i have been working with this coaching client and she kept going out on friday night because she saw that well friday night this is the evening for the date the right time and then there will be saturday and she is a dentist so she kept showing up on dates after the long working week feeling stressed feeling like she would have better stayed at home and sleep and rest instead she had to drag herself to those dates and of course she didn't enjoy the dates and I have suggested her to just change the date so instead of going out on Friday nights she has started going out on Saturdays nights or for lunch on Sundays and out of a sudden boom men were fun and she was actually enjoying the dates and she felt that it was really really different if you have been out on 20 or 25 tinder coffee dates of course a tinder coffee date number 26 will resemble all the rest change your tactics instead ask you out for brunch lunch for a longer walk make changes your attitude will bring different energy and therefore you will get different emotions and different feelings on the date and therefore there is a high chance that you will get different results Guys, I want to wish you only successful romantic dates with the right people. Right now is the time to press like, to subscribe to our channel, to share in the comments below if you agree, disagree with me, or maybe you have your own experience that you would like to share. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, to support us and become a sponsor if you like our content. And also you can request a complimentary consultation with the matchmaker by filling in the form below this video. I want to wish you lots of love, Svetlana Mucha, especially for for the from Munich, Germany. Mm -hmm.